Making organic shapes with traditional modeling can be a little bit difficult to achieve. So I wanted to go over how we can use just a little bit of VEX to create some nice organic shapes and do it super quick and easy. So to start off, let's drop in a geometry node. And then just for illustration purposes, let's drop in a line as well. And we'll set the direction to one on the X axis. And we'll leave this at a length of one for the moment. And then we'll just crank up the points here. Maybe 25 will work. So to start off here, we're going to need to get a value of zero to one across all these points through a ramp. So I'm gonna use a, a point bop. So I'll wire up a point bop. And what we're really doing is just remapping a ramp value to this entire, uh, every one of these points, I should say. So let's do a ramp parameter. And we're gonna be using this ramp to control these shapes. So let's set it to a spline and let's just load in the position value. And then we're going to bind export that to a parameter. And let's call this just something like curve. And that should do. So if I go over to our geometry spreadsheet now, I go to our points, you see that we have a curve attribute now, and it's just zero because this is set to just zero. And as I crank this up, you can see that it is split evenly across each point across our ramp. So let's drop in an attribute wrangle, and let's start affecting these using this ramp. So we'll do at P, and let's just offset it in the Y. So P dot Y equals, we'll do a parenthesis at P dot Y, and then we'll add our curve attribute to this. So at curve to get our curve attribute. And if I hit control and enter now, you can see that it is being affected by our ramp. And let's go ahead, let's just set these to a B spline. And as I start to change these values, you can see that it's affecting our line super nice. And let's go ahead, we can even go in the negative a little bit here. So you can have full control over this. And if you wanna crank up the points on our line, just make it a little bit smoother, or maybe you don't, however you wanna go. Super quick and easy to do that, but it's not limited to just a line. So if I drop in a cube, Let's go ahead, set the display flag there, and let's crank up the divisions to, maybe let's set it to like 50, and that should be fine here. If I wire this in now, you can see that we're getting something going on here, and it's going from zero to 0.5, so that's not what we're looking for here. So let's go ahead and just adjust this a little bit. So we will have to adjust this manually using this method. You could set it up to work um, automatically, but let's just do it manually for the moment. So put in a fit node, and because our lowest value here on our box is it's a size of one, so it'll be centered, it'll be negative 0.5 to 0.5, or if you really wanted to just drop in a match size for this. And let's leave that to none on there. And then we could set it to min on the X. You can see that it works just fine there. Go ahead and not do that though. If we wanted to just change it this way, our source min would be negative 0.5. And then 0.5 for our source max. Now you see that it is working properly with our ramp. So if I go ahead and change these, you can see that it is changing the values of our box, but maybe we only wanted to change part of these. So maybe we only wanted to select the top, we can just select our points there. And now we only have the top of our cube being affected. Now you can do this obviously outside the uh, negative one to one range or negative 0.5 to 0.5 range. You can set it up to however you want, but that is kind of the gist of it. Super quick and easy to do, and just a little outside thinking, outside the box thinking of how to use 
the attribute wrangle and vex to get some nice complex shapes say definitely look into how you can use it to modify your the way that you model because it can make things a little bit easier just think about it maybe not so much as a coding language but more as how can i use these to affect my points or my geometry in a, in a simple way and you can do some really cool things that i don't see a lot of people doing but are super super powerful so anyways i just wanted to put this out there help anybody out that's looking to maybe get some organic shapes going on their models with a super easy way without having to use things like curves because uh, those in my opinion are a little cumbersome to use inside of houdini don't really like the way they work but anyways Hopefully you guys like this video. I got a bunch of other videos on my channel that go along with Houdini and focusing a lot on Vex lately. So if you're interested in more Vex stuff, make sure you guys check those out. But I do have a bunch of other stuff on my channel on Redshift, Houdini, a little bit on Cinema 4D and Clarice as well. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you guys check those out. But thank you guys for watching and have a good day.